I've not been sent a silly hat in a while, and as Luchathor 13 is still holding my turkey hat's ransom, I cannot wear the holiday appropriate hat, and so I'm wearing this box on my head instead. What's going on? Well, obviously, the big news about the the, the rebranding of the whole auxiliary community into something having nothing to do with the auxiliary anymore. Um, that's going well, as far as I can tell. Um, the Halloween, well, the, it didn't happen in Halloween, but the, the maze event did go fairly well. Had a very small turnout, but those that came had an absolute blast, so I call that a win. Hopefully next year I'll actually be able to do it on Halloween, and we'll probably get a much better turnout, but... We shall see. There was something else I was going to talk about, but now I can't remember. So I'm going to skip it and go straight to the questions. Low on questions, but heavy on the package, so hopefully it'll balance out. Michael Nimrod asks, What do you think of a deploy and strife integration for a mod? Well, I wouldn't do it, but I'd love to see it done. Big Cheese. Describe the shop goblin that lives under your workbench that swallows all the materials that you drop, and how do you keep him at bay? I do not have a shop goblin. I have a swamp cat, and I do have shrub goblins, but they stay out of my shop. Josiah Mayfield. What is your go-to magazine size and capacity? Uh, 22 round full dart or full length worker mags. Um, yeah, that's my go-to, the 22s. Alex Price, have you heard the song Christmas Truce by Sabaton yet? I have not. I will put it on my list. Chris McClure, what historical figure would you like to drink a root beer with, and what would you talk about? Uh, Jesus? Jesus might be on the list. I don't know what we'd talk about, because I, I can't imagine he spoke English, as the language didn't exist yet. And I certainly don't speak ancient Aramaic, so... Uh, maybe someone else. Uh, historic figure, historic figure. Ben Franklin, that would be a fun one. Explain to him cell phones. The fact that one someday we will, almost all, many of us will contain a device in our pocket that allows us to communicate instantly with anyone on the planet who has a similar device. Also gives us uh, access to the combined knowledge of the human race. And this somehow has not ended all war or, uh, or strife. In fact, it probably made it worse. That would probably blow his mind. Plus, I'd love to know what he had to say about root beer. Hazard. Thoughts on the laser ops line? Before I got into Nerve, actually before I got into even Medieval Recreation, back in high school, I had a whole bunch of laser tag stuff. Uh, the uh, Laser Challenge brand was the stuff that I had, and I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I took some of it with me to college, and we got to play in some of the old buildings that were, that were really a lot of fun. Um... But, uh, now I do nerf. Car Crusher Legos and Cars. Why is it damp? Because I live in a rainforest and water falls from the sky and moistens everything. Travis G.A. Would you say Captain Xavier is a dwarven fighter with a soldier background in D&D? No, Captain Xavier is very distinctly a human soldier. Um... And probably, rather, well, actually, human fighter, but with probably bard, uh, actually, rather than soldier, uh, if, if you really got into it, because all that poetry. Johnny Blaze, would you get the Titanic Lego set? W would I? Under what conditions? Um, I have no desire to. I, if they'd made a battleship, I might be a little more interested, but the Titanic, uh, not so much. Uh, and there, there are other th I, things I plan to get. I, it is my goal on Black Friday to get my hands on an AT-AT if there's any chance I can get my hands on one. If not, I'll just order one, but that's, that's the big one I want. Blue Lion, where have you found, slash who have you found, makes or has access to the best root beer? That is a convoluted sentence. There is a store north of Seattle called Chugs that sells almost exclusively root beer, and that is where I get my specialty root beers. Uh, they have like a hundred different root beers or something, and uh, I'm slowly working my way through all of them, and there are some good ones. And they have Sprecher, so that has made me happy. Trevor Wilson, 
If sentient lobsters had thumbs, how many lobsters would it take to flip a switch five feet above the ground? Well, hypothetically one. If it's sentient and has thumbs, it should be able to stack stuff five feet high and climb up there. And finally, definitely Natox. Have you figured out how to upgrade a rapid strike with a K26 yet? No. No, it still eludes me. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, right over the top. I've lost my box! Right. For the loot! Right, we have all manner of package today. Uh, I'm gonna start with this little bitty one from uh, Arison Staubly. How, how am do box? A note! Dear Captain, it is my hope that the enclosed items will come in useful for various crew and on and the auxiliary. Uh, in, in, in the name of the word Marcus Mad, for the word of dibs is boom. And then a picture. So what we have here appear to be rivets. Yeah, interesting. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Triangle-headed rivets for the making of either auxiliary or crew. What's it? That. That is magnificent, sir. Is there a setting tool for it? Because otherwise I imagine you would rather mangle that head if you didn't have a proper thing to set it with. Oh, well maybe go the other way. I could probably do something with just a leather pad or something. Those are awesome. Yes, I'm sure I can find something to do with those. And then a couple of springs. And a tiny book. It appears to just be a solid, tiny metal book. I shall put it in my library. And it will be lovely. Most excellent, sir. An excellent start to the loot. Let's go with this one. Dubious. Dubious, I tell you. Are these notes? Is there a note? Another gift uh, from Anon Technician. Nation. It's a MacGuffin. Work Pro. Work Pro. I've been, I've been sent to Gizmo. Ooh. Tiny bolt cutters. Very nice. Probably much easier to cut uh, springs, or yeah, springs with than uh, than the big one that I usually use. I do have a smaller one somewhere. I used to anyway. Most excellent. That is lovely. That is also solid looking. I dig it. Thank you ever so much. I never have too many tools. For the right tool for the job makes all the difference. I've seen people struggle with all kinds of things only to just hand them the right tool and have it take them a second and they're just going, bah, well, if I, if I know, they're like, well, now you know. <gasps> Sounds like happiness. Is it, is it happiness? It is happiness! Ooh. From the Eternals. All oh, that is some cool stuff. Thena, Makari, Gilgamesh, and then whatever that thing is, some wacky I have not seen the movie yet. I should. It looks fascinating. Very, very cool. And, aha! Mega XL does. I never have too many of those. I shall add it to the pile. Fling! It didn't make it. These shall head to the Lego room and get built. Is there a note? Nope. Well, I know where it's from. It's from Sparky the Saint, because of course it is, because he is awesome and spoils me horribly, and I love it. I'm right. What do we got here? Sounds like more happiness. Probably also from Sparky. It's a, it's a. Well, I'm going to assume it's from Sparky, but uh, if it's not... Wait, wait, whoa, what? 
I do Aha! Hope you like this for Wolfpack Boys. Also, uh, you need to do a poly bag I sent you. Oh! Uh, this is from. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy the squirrel from uh, Zach Lee. Yeah, I do need to do the poly bags. I got a whole bunch of poly bags that I still need to do. Oh, very cool. Lots of good parts in here. Very good. And yes, a tiny squirrel. Squirrel. And trees and logs and all sorts of niftiness. Most excellent. Thank you ever so much. What do I got here? Oh. Uh, this comes from the U.S. Naval Institute, courtesy of uh, Fusco. Let's see if I can figure out how how am do this package. I'm in. The Last Stand of the Tin Can Soldiers. A graphic novel. Well, that, that is awesome. I do love a good graphic novel. Most excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. This one. A Haridges. It's a... I don't know. Is there a note? What's that? A note? I don't see a note. I just see newspapers. Wait. Wait. Oh. Hold up. Ah! I opened the wrong side. There is a note. Enclosed is the 2000 Nerf Bungee Blaster. The Bungee Blaster. Oh, that we discussed via email a while ago. I do not have any of the stock ammo. However, it appears to be functioning properly as it will cycle through each chamber as the trigger is pulled. It appears that the ammunition could be replicated if one could find a foam ball that would have the correct diameter. I have actually seen people who have made ammo for this blaster. Um... To fit the chambers. Then some experimentation would be needed to determine the proper length of elastic cord for the bungee. In addition to the bungee blaster, I also enclosed four homemade discs for the 1998 Supermax Disc Shooter. The Supermax Disc Shooter is quite a tragic blaster, but it is fun to watch the huge discs fly wildly through the air. If you have not done so already, please consider using the Disc Shooter in one of your Range Day videos. Keep up the great content and continue to be an inspiration to the massive nerds everywhere. Alex! Oh, man! Let's take a look at these. I'm glad I checked all the rest of the packaging. Ugh. Man! Lord have mercy. Well, those are... Those are really nicely made. I was expecting just a disc cut out of foam, but no, no. He has layered them three layers top and bottom that is really cool and I do have that blaster but I didn't have any ammo for it so it will go on the list for range day when I start doing those again as I have a bunch of obscure blasters I will definitely do these two together all right I think I think that's everything that's not garbage let's get all the garbage out of the way and then I will reveal this piece of magnificence. It's smaller than I expected. Yeah, it cycles. So this is just, this, this is one of the super weird, super rare ones that I had considered unattainable and didn't even have it on my list. Um, I, would, I was half convinced that it didn't actually exist, that it was a myth. It was just too weird looking. But it's a thing, and now I have it. Um, that, that is amazing. Another blaster off the list for my collection. I really need to get the new train. Get the new train. Um, I've gotten a whole bunch of new blasters that, for my collection in the last year, and I haven't gotten around to getting any of them up on the wall because it means I have to go up there and rearrange entire wall sections. But I need to do it because I've gotten enough that they're, uh, it, it's worth it. 
And uh, yeah, I will have to find, I, I, I'm sure I have some foam balls that are roughly that size. And yeah, they, it's got, it's a ball with a bungee hook to it. The ball gets pushed into there. The bungee gets pulled forward to these hooks. And then when you pull the trigger, it pushes the ball out and it, it flings them forward. It's weird. It, I, as far as I know, it's the only thing that fired ammo like that. And now I have it. And that is so, so awesome. Thank you so, so much. Um, I will, f I will find a way or I will make a way to get ammo for this thing. And then I will do that and the Supermax in a video together to, uh, to show my appreciation to you. All right, let's see what else we've got. We've got a thing. This is a thing from Kyle Hoon. I believe I know what it is, but we're going to find out. Oh, Lord. stuff falling out. It's, uh, it's a stuff. It's a thing. It's a MacGuffin. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is... That is party. It Look, it's got stripes in my colors. Oh. How does this work? I assume that goes back. Oh, and then it goes forward. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's supposed to come loose. That is pretty awesome. And then we have, looks like extra barrels, extra springs, some nifty 3D printed stuff. A, is that a scar barrel? Sure looks like a scar barrel. I didn't, was there a note? Did I miss the note? Surely there's a note. There is no note. No note. None! There's not the note. No. Well, that will be uh, getting reviewed soon because that is just fantastic looking. That is a svelte little number. Yeah. Very, very comfy. The grip is. I like it. Very nice. Talon Mag Adapt uh, compatible. Very nice. Excellent print quality. Beautiful print quality. I look forward to plinking with this. So my thanks to you. Look at it. It's so lovely. Um, when I do a review on it, I will hopefully by then have links to where this thing came from. Um, so that. And, and what it's called. <laughs> I should remember, they told me several times, but I, I keep forgetting. I'm sure somebody out there knows what it is and we'll put it in the comments and then it will get lost. But anyway, there will be a video on it and it will be lovely. Maybe I'll do all of them. Maybe I'll do a range day just of the stuff I've gotten today. That would be pretty cool. That is, ah, it's pretty and svelte and I like it. Most excellent, thank you again ever so much. And for the extras as well, certainly. Oh, there it is, Orion Blasters. I assume, because there's, there's a keychain, Orion Blasters. That would make sense. Maybe, maybe. Very cool, very, very cool. Right, what's next? We'll take a look at this one. From Richard Miller. It's a stuff, it's a thing. It's a, good lord. I believe that is the, uh, yep. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Uh, hammer shot cylinder, hammer shot replacement barrels for both Demolisher and I assume Mega XL, which is the one I'm actually really excited about, as well as apparently all of the cylinders in all of the land. Now, what do we got? Vintage Mega. Seven shot hyper. Brast, oh, brast. Yeah. Um, Demolisher rocket. There's also, we'll, we'll get to that magnificence here in a second. All of the bits for all of the things. Seven shot whistler. Cool. I, I have no, oh, oh. I'm fairly certain that's a, oh no. Oh no, it broke. 
I thought that looked weird. Tragic. Oh no, it, apparently it gets printed in multiple layers and this one has been glued together, so I'll just have to re-glue it. That's not a problem. I can do that. I own glue. And uh, yeah, all the various bits and attachment. What is what? 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 Oh, is this for the Meeker? Is this a replacement barrel for the Meeker for uh, Mega XL? That would be pretty awesome. Single Mega XL. All right. Wait, is this is this an explanation? Oh, this is probably all of the. Yeah, yeah, rotation stuff. Okay, well, I don't see a note. You gotta give me a note, my dude. You gotta, I gotta have my note. Anyway, um, I have been stockpiling extra hammer shots so that I can do a, a, a video of all the different ones that I have because I have a whole bunch of them and some of them are really, really cool. And then this is a Titan Rocket Thermos. And that is magnificent. <laughs> that is just entirely too cool. That is, that is just, yes, yes. Everything about that. Titan Rocket Thermos. You, sir, are awesome and fantastic. And I swear I will get that video out eventually. Harass me, harangue me mercilessly until I do it. I, I, I ask you. All right. Okay. What's next? Next we have a package. I'll save that one for last. A, pa a large package from Deutschland. From Deutsche Post. From Germany. All yeah, right. Aha! It's a note. A note. I think it's gonna get crazy in here. Hello, Captain X! Hopefully this package arrives before December! All the best from Germany! Alex! A lot of Alexes today. Well! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh this person! This! This person! This person knows what I'm about. First of all, I've been sent demolisher rockets. And you can never have too many of those. And they have sent me Carcassonne stuff! but in German. For Luchathor, if he likes it. Oh, it's not actually Carcassonne stuff. That's just in a Carcassonne box. Pokemon stuff for Luchathor. I will, I will use this to get back my turkey hats. Pirate swords. It's actually full of Lego. I think you like this year. Oh, and it's good stuff. Knights, yes, excellent. Wolf pack, always the best. The, uh, the Goblin King from Lord of the Rings. I have one, but it's not the official Lego one, and I believe this one is the official Lego one. So now I've got two, and that's awesome. An elf, absolutely fabulous, yes. Guys in armor. Soccer guys, neat. More soccer guys. A peasant! Fabulous! And... A Nazi? Maybe. That's what I'm gonna use him as. Oh, and he got me a, a Deutschmark. Or is this a Euro? It's a Deutschmark. From... 1818. Good lord. Oh, in 1883. <laughs> uh, my birthday is, is in uh, 1983. Karl Marx. That is awesome. That That is probably one of the coolest coins I own. I don't know what these are. They look to be mint chocks. Well, that sounds fantastic. Um, and then some minifigs. In bag still. We will get to them. The fact that they're in the Carcassonne box is really cool. A German Carcassonne box. And then here is some actual Carcassonne cards. Very cool. The German castles. Awesome. 
and the half tiles, which make for, those are, those make for weird, weird rules. And the rules are in German, of course, so I can't read them. Maybe you don't have, I think I actually do have both of these, but I have a friend who, I think she has this, but I, I know she doesn't have this one, so I might bring that and give it to her on Thanksgiving. Oh, and which, which, which map is this? They made a Carcassonne of the Western United States? It's got Seattle on it! That's amazing! <laughs> that is... It is weird! I was expecting, like, Germany! Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is one. I've got... I've got France. That is... That is amazing. <laughs> I will have to bring that with me. We are, there are plans to play Carcassonne. Um... Today, actually, or possibly yesterday, depending on, on what ends up happening, but that, that, see, see, oddly, despite the fact that Carcassonne is a game based in France, I'm pretty sure it's made by a German company, which is hilarious. Now this, this is amazing. Made in China, oh, is there a year? Probably not. But it, it the fact that it has its original ammo is pretty darn amazing. Does it fire? It fires! Oh yeah, definitely having a range day with just the stuff I got from today because that is a fabulous looking little thing. Okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? We have a MacGuffin. It's a thing. It's a stuff. It's a... Ooh! <laughs> Beretta <laughs> Civil Gun 750. Um, so it's a... It's an old Supermax. And I do have ammo for these, so once again, it will go in the pile for use in a range day video. Another old blast. Oh, it's the old splat blasters. Very good. More. Good lord, sir. You spoil me. All of the purple rockets in all of the land. Um, what does this attach to? It's not that one. Is it this one? I don't know that it goes on any of these, actually. I have no proof. I got nothing. I don't know where this goes. Oh! Oh my! Lego Collector 2nd Edition. It's just... It's, 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 it's just every Lego set ever. Up to... Two thousand eleven. Well, that is just too cool. I must look up what the bricks mean, but that doesn't work because it's all in German. <laughs> Oh, luckily the, uh, the the set names are still in English, though, as well as in German, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, both. Oh, that is so cool! That is so cool! That is... Oh, then my question is, does it go in the Lego room or the library? <laughs> oh, what do we have? What do we have? Oh! Thames root beer! A root beer from Germany? I, wow, that is amazing. Um, I'm gonna have to drink this. All right, well, we have more Carcassonne boxes. But do we have more Carcassonne? No, we have vintage darts. Oh Lord, that is <laughs> super max darts. These things are obscenely hard to get a hold of. I only have a handful of them. That is amazing. I don't know what that is. That is absolutely amazing. How oh, good? How many? There are five in here? At least? I think that doubles the number I previously had. Wow. You, you. 
They're breeding in the dark. Sir, you have outdone yourself. That is, that is absolutely astounding. Well, now I, I really want to know what's in the other Carcassonne boxes. More old ammo! Oh! Good lord. All of the ammo for this thing in all of the land. Old rockets. I think I have the blaster these go for, and I don't think I had any in this color. Old balls, old discs. That is... <laughs> I was not expecting the, the, the vintage ammo. That is incredible. What do we got here? More Lego! <gasps> and some weird rockets. Very weird rockets. I, I don't even know what fires these. Oh, it's pirates. It's pirates. I needed more pirates. Oh, the Admiral. Very nice. Another Admiral. Some islanders, some pirates. Oh, I needed more pirates, more sailors. Sergeant Deplorable will be very, very jealous of all of my islanders that I have gotten here. Most excellent. A whole bunch of red sailors, that's what I needed the most. More mint! Chocolate mint flavored pastels? I don't know what that is, but I am fascinated by it, and... A Carcassonne bag that does contain Carcassonne tiles. Oh, it's the school and the cathedrals. Most excellent. Oh, very, very cool. What color teacher did it have? Was it just clear? Just clear. I did not have a just clear meeple. Sir. Sir. You have undone yourself, sir. Well, that's going into the house so I can try those. The Lego goes into the house. Some gems as well in there, some gold coins. Oh, it's so good. Bolts! All right, that's in the go to the house pile. Is this what this appears to be? I, I, I yeah. He sent me the Lego Potter Advent Calendar. That is amazing. Well, I know I will be doing an Advent Calendar this year. Oh, it's got more of the, the wizard cards. Hopefully it'll be ones I don't already have. Oh, that's gonna be good. That is going to be good. I will, I will do a Lego Advent Calendar on my Instagram. I did one a couple of years ago, and then I haven't had an advent calendar since, so now I have one. Sir, 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 I, sir, you're awesome. If, if, seriously, does anyone know what these go to? Because I don't know. Another minifig, a Marvel, so far we have Halloween. Oh, that is pretty cool, that is pretty cool. Okay, we appear to have one more to go. And oh, 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 oh. Uh, two more of these super maxes. Pretty cool. They've they've clearly been painted. I wonder where they got those stickers though. But this this was the thing I I think we had actually talked or mentioned. Uh, he had another one of the triple mech, and I wanted to get another one so that I could mod one of them. Um, this is what the discs and the balls that he sent go to. Um, it is, it is, it, ha it fires all three balls, darts, and discs, each from their own hopper. So it's a hopper-fed dart blaster. You just dump darts in the top and hope for the best. And then it has three triggers, one for the ball, one for the the darts and one for the discs. So that is, that is amazing. Now I have two of them, now I can mod one. Very, very cool. Finding motors for it is gonna be a trick, but that will be a fun adventure. And that, sir, was an absolutely amazing box. I am going to have this with dinner tonight because I wanna know what a German root beer tastes like. Oh, that is so cool. 
So very, very cool. Okay. Yes, that, sir. Sir? Oh, we have the minis. Just have to figure out what minis I got. We'll do those real quick. Okay, we'll start with the, the monsters. Which monster did I get? I got, oh, oh! The female vampire. Awesome. I did not have this one, and I do have a faction that she will fit into nicely. That is a really cool pattern on her dress, that spider pattern. Yes, yes. Maybe I'll use her to make some kind of a spider monster. Like a, like a, a vampire drider kind of thing. That would be pretty horrifying. Oh wait, there's more. For she has a cloak. And a cowl. Even better. Huh. I know they even made clear capes. That is pretty awesome. Yes. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, let's see what minifigure I got. Uh, oh, it's a farmer, which means I got a pig. Perfect. Oh, I did not know those pants existed. A little farmer with a, a fabulous farmer-esque hat and a pitchfork and a pig. Well, that is just incredibly useful for my uh, for my medieval village, or even for my pirate stuff. They often had pigs on board ships. Pigs are, pigs are unkillable. They will live on a ship, and then you'll leave them on an island, and you come back in a year, and there's a thousand pigs, and you eat them, and they are delicious. They're made of bacon. Which is an odd evolutionary choice, really. Of all the things to evolve, why delicious? All right, which superhero did we get? I have no... Oh! Oh, sweet! Oh, yes, 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 yes. It is uh, the the female Loki whose name I can't remember and should, and it uh, it is... It makes me a bad person. Uh, let's see if it, let's see if it shows it in here. I'm sure somebody's screaming at the comments right now. Oh, it doesn't say? You are of no use to me at all. Absolutely useless. Anyway, it's her. And what's more important, it's Baby Crocodile. And what's cool is it, it, it doesn't have the, the Loki hat, which means I can just use it as a Baby Crocodile in my, my, uh, my pirate settings, and it is adorable and I love it. And, uh, she came with an extra green machete. That is awesome. Absolute winners from all three bags. I don't know if you engineered that or if that was just blind luck, but it is awesome. All right. One last packard. I'm running out of room. There is so much loot on my table. Uh, we have, of course, as per spec, a package for Mr. Dillman. Sounds broken. Could be anything. Ooh. It's one of the fancy colored strong arms. I did not have one of these yet. Very nice. <laughs> Some Bumco darts, because they're getting harder and harder to find. Mm. More Bumco darts. Straws, yes. One of the white magazines, very cool. A minifigure, a what, a triple? I've been sent a triple. How very dare you, sir. How, how very dare you. I will be overrun in a week. A bag. The note. I clearly opened the wrong side of the box. What do we got? 
Hello, Captain. I hope this letter finds you well. Well, well enough. I've been having laptop issues lately. Sorry if it seems I've gone dark. I know I haven't commented lately, plus our first child, Hayden, uh, meaning Heather, covering the hills. Oh, very cool. Entered the world a few days ago. Well, congratulations, sir. Well, congratulations. Man, life is so different now. Life is a miracle. I learned way too much this past week. Knowledge I never wanted to know. Um, Haddon has inadvertently listened to your videos when I played them on my phone next to him. Uh, got to raise them right. Root beers I sent last time were all local Wisconsin root beers that I got at a root beer museum in Wisconsin Dells. Good lord. Uh, what shocked me the most is I found the exact Colorado root beer I tried to get you when I was actually physically in Colorado this past summer, and they were out of it! Life is weird sometimes. Are you going to have a special Christmas episode? Did you ever get the Lego Helms Deep set or the Silent Mary? I have, I have neither of those. Um, the Silent Mary is, I think, the only pirate ship-esque thing I don't have. Um, I think I have a small section of the Helm's Deep wall, but not the whole thing. Um, I've been collecting a few things for your Christmas package over these past few weeks. Evil. <laughs> Evil laugh. It's Kermit. Sorry, I don't know how the meme got there. I tried to get a good sample of your interests. Should be fun. Have a fantastic day. Chuckles on the back. Stay silly. Dan, native to Quentin Art. Hello, fan, Sprecher Ripper Drinker, Lego Sorter, etc. Birds always look like they just realized they spent three, uh, $3,106 $3, on takeout last year. Today, I asked the kindergartner if Friday was his favorite day of the week, and his response was, I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. I'm confused all the time. Same, little man. Same. I waved to a man because I thought he waved to me. Apparently, he waved to a... Uh, to another woman, so to get out of the awkward situation, I kept my hand up and a taxi pulled up and drove me to the airport, and now I'm in uh, Poland, starting a new life. Strong people <laughs> don't put others down. They lift them up. Darth Vader, philanthropist. I got some bad news. Good thing I'm sitting down. I just painted that chair. <laughs> Review. Let me tell you, I'm bitterly disappointed to learn that this book is, in fact, an instructional guide on a profitable husbandry of ducks as a craft. There is not one sliver of insight about holding ducks accountable for their crimes against humanity, Earth, or God. Ducks! How to make them pay. I want to get a copy of that. Just one like and I'll destroy Tokyo at 3 a.m. for literally no reason. <laughs> like, say no more! <laughs> Godzilla. That's that is fantastic. All right, is, is there? Oh, there's more in the box. Minis. All right. What do we got? What do we got? We, tribbles and two bags of minis. Okay, let's see what minis we got from Monsieur Le Dillman. We got the Inca Warrior. Awesome. Obsidian club and all. I think I only have one of him. I might have two, but now I definitely have at least two, possibly three. And what did we get in the other one? A doge! Oh, with short opposable legs. How adorable. I do not believe, I don't think I had the doge. Dude in a pug costume. Weird. I will find a use for those legs though. Very cool. All right. I believe I've hit the bottom. That was an absolutely amazing haul, as you can see. I have German root beer to drink with my dinner. That is, that makes me happy. I have Lego aplenty. Some great Lego from Germany. Um, the, the advent calendar, that is awesome. A whole plethora of blasters to do in a, a range day video. So stay tuned for that. You are all amazing. I cannot thank you enough for all of the loot that you send me. It is so much fun. Questions! Ask questions! If you would like to have a question answered, just comment it in this video, and that's where I pull the questions for the next video. So, there you have it. You're awesome. Thank you so much.